You know, all may be seated. Especially me, sorry, for my joke on the Hello, welcome, friends and family. We're finally here. Just only a year late. Better late than ever. More importantly, Destiny showed up. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Reverend Elliot Peter Preston. You can call me Reverend or you can call me Father. I go by both. And for those of you who do know me, yes, you heard me correctly, I am Father. When Destiny and Daniel first asked me to officiate their wedding, I made sure to ask them both, are you sure? I think I've made, well, I know I've made a Destiny a nervous wreck for over a year now. I promise I would behave today, so I will do my best. It was Destiny and Daniel that got me ordained, so for that, I thank you both. I am father now. It is my great honor to be up here today and to be, be able to marry my two best friends. I love them both very much, and I'm so happy to be a part of this beautiful wedding. I have known these two truly amazing people almost my entire life. I've known Destiny since my sophomore year in high school and Daniel since the second grade. I was able to witness their love and mature throughout the years. I know, I know personally how much they love each other and I know how, they, how much each of them have to put up with. It's comical. <laughs> I have seen their love firsthand. So when I say I'm surprised they lasted through this year, I mean it. Destiny, I admire your patience. <laughs> And Dan, it's your wedding day. I'll be nice. You're lucky. You're a lucky man. You're a lucky man. You both look beautiful today. Destiny more than Daniel, of course. It's nice to see that the quarantine didn't fatten the two of you up. <laughs> Daniel, the tux must be a stretch fit. Good job. I know Dan would like to tie the knot as soon as possible so he could abandon his diet. You will probably see every option on the menu twice on his plate tonight. <laughs> Destiny and Daniel wanted me to thank you all for being here and to recognize how important each one of you are to the relationship. They would also like to recognize all of those who could not make it here today. They are certainly missed but not forgotten on this day of celebration. Marriage gives per permanence and structure to a couple's love. It's saying, I will put up with you forever. Even if that's buying another doll, Destiny, <laughs> buying another motorcycle, building a new kitchen for your fiance, or allowing Destiny to have wine glasses out of the pool. <laughs> Marriage is surrendering yourself to your partner out of love. It means you want to share your best times and your worst times. You choose to grow with one another, screw up, do stupid things, make mistakes, learn, take trips, buy a home, raise two dogs, and eventually start a family. And it only gets more fun from here, hopefully. Now I would like to share a beautiful quote with you from the famous techno one-hit wonder Hathaway and made famous in the movie Night at the Roxbury. What is love? What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. No more. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. End quote. But what is love like for Destiny and Daniel? For Destiny, love is putting up with Dan weed whacking as she is trying to sleep when she finally gets home from working a long overnight shift at the hospital. Dan is a fanatic when it comes to his front yard. You should see it. It looks like Citizens Bank Park in his front yard. It's nuts. In Dan's defense, he did buy her casino grade light canceling blinds. So they should have helped with the nap. For Daniel, love is relinquishing meat on his pizza for the sake of Destiny's diet. This whole time, poor Daniel had to deal with plain or veggie pizza. Poor guy. Doesn't look good. I'm okay, kidding. You look beautiful. You look beautiful. You know it is true love when Destiny asked Weston to move over in the bed when Dan finally came home from the academy. Love is literally being able to share a bed with one another and those two monsters, Weston and Remington. Destiny, you're crazy. You sleep with three bears. God bless you both. Love is what keeps you coming back. Love is forgiving. Love is patient. Love makes sacrifice easy. Marriage is a lifelong commitment that requires you to put up with each other even in the most difficult of times. I know Destiny and Daniel have made it through plenty of difficult times. Destiny away at Gloucester County, and then at Jefferson, and Daniel away at Penn State. It's not easy to maintain a relationship that far away from one another, but they did. Destiny and Daniel were friends with benefits. 
Daniel's freshman year all the way through his sophomore year at Penn State. I don't know what the benefits were. I didn't ask the details. Maybe they shared an insurance card, or maybe Destiny treated the Chinese food once in a while. I don't know. I didn't get to the bottom of that. I didn't ask. I didn't ask. Daniel had all this time and never asked Destiny to be his girlfriend. Shame on you, Daniel. What an idiot. <laughs> it was the summer before Daniel's junior year at Penn State and Destiny was losing her patience. <laughs> Said one thing that changed. <laughs> Destiny told Daniel, and I quote, Piss or get off the pot, buddy. <laughs> Actually, quote. Destiny urged Daniel to make up his mind after almost two years of not committing to a relationship. After Destiny's friendly gesture, <laughs> Daniel sent Destiny a long message. Could it have been a romantic apology begging Destiny to be his girlfriend? Destiny made the mistake and assuming that this was a wooing romantic message begging for her love. Damn a romantic. Maybe when it comes to Chinese food, he's a romantic. Instead, Dan wrote a real long detailed message explaining why he did not want to be in a relationship. It seemed that Daniel was too busy working on his upcoming presidential race at Penn State. I want to say again here, Daniel, incredibly lucky man. It was no more than two weeks later that Daniel realized he screwed up, and he screwed up bad. Daniel reached out to Destiny for a ride to a follow-up surgery after the incident with his leg. And not long, Daniel reached out to Destiny for a ride to a follow-up surgery after the incident with his leg. Destiny was Daniel's caretaker for some time, or his second leg, really. And not long after, Daniel finally asked Destiny to be his girlfriend. He asked Destiny at a baseball game many of us were at, Side note, Johnny was the umpire. For those of you who don't know Johnny, it's impossible to be at the plate with him behind you. Almost, uh, he encouraged the pitchers to hit us at some points. Never called us. But at this baseball game, this is where Dan thought he could really impress Destiny with his new leg. And he was convinced there was no chance she would say no. Daniel, after almost screwing this whole thing up, wooed Destiny with his new bionic leg to the point she almost melted. That is how it all started. Daniel knew then and there he had something amazing. He realized that what he had was everything he wanted. And Destiny knew at the time he was an idiot. At the time. I think that's why Daniel built her a new kitchen, trying to play catch up. June 16th, 2013 is when Daniel asked Destiny to finally be his girlfriend. Five long years later, on June 23rd, 2018, Daniel finally asked Destiny to be his wife. This is a day I personally will never forget. It was a housewarming party. There was a ton of food, booze, loud music, and a warm pool. After a few hours into the party, Daniel wanted to address friends and family at the party and thank them for coming out. After thanking everyone for coming out, Daniel said this, and I quote, If someone were to ask me when I was 18 what I'd be doing when I was 25, I don't know what I would have said. But it sure as hell wouldn't have been purchasing a house. And it sure as hell wouldn't have included being with the same girl for over five years, which is a really long time to be dating. I hope one day I could change that. Daniel reached into his pants, and no one had a clue of what he was doing. I thought to myself, is he about to go skinny dipping? And I thought, I can't let Dan do this alone. I almost joined him. Good thing I didn't. <laughs> because Daniel reached into his waistband and pulled out a beautiful engagement ring, got on one knee, and asked Destiny to be his wife. Nobody had a clue this was Daniel's intentions. I stood right there, smiling ear to ear, honestly had tears in my eyes. I was so pissed off. <laughs> he didn't tell me. He didn't tell anyone. After Destiny, Destiny surprisingly said yes, I walked over to Daniel. I grabbed his big, red, crying face and I smacked him. I shared words with him I can't share today and I told him I loved him and how happy I was for him. Not shortly after I walked over to Destiny to cry, give her a hug and tell her that I loved her. And this hug lasted so long it lasted all the way to the pool. Remember that Des? You were so excited you jumped into the pool. She put up, she put up a pretty good fight. She was kicking and screaming but I got her into the pool. And good thing she didn't lose her new ring in the pool filter, otherwise I wouldn't have been invited to the wedding, let alone be up here today. 
June 23rd, 2018, that is when Destiny made the decision that she wanted to spend the rest of her life with Daniel. The world was shocked. <laughs> Today, Destiny and Daniel celebrate their love and how it has grown from a baseball field in Williamstown to a beautiful wedding here today. Daniel, once scared of commitment, to now making one of the largest commitments in your life. Daniel, are you sure you want to do this? Wait, no. Destiny, are you sure you want to do this? No. <laughs> no, that's not it. That's not it. That's not it. That's not the part. I'll give you a I'll nudge you. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> After today, you guys are stuck with each other forever. Destiny, after today, you promise to love Dan and share a home with him, even when he keeps the temperature below 50 degrees in the dead of winter time. It's a cold house. <laughs> Destiny and Daniel, the vows that you are about to make are a way to share your love and commitment to each other in your own words. These vows are a way of openly declaring your promise to one another, as well as to all of those who are here in attendance today. Destiny? Ladies first. <laughs> All right, Dan, I'll never understand why it took you over a year to ask me to be your girlfriend. Or why it took you another five years after that to ask me to be your wife. I swear I didn't know you said all this. <laughs> but I think I can say the nine years that I have waited to stand at this altar with you was worth the wait. It's funny. I remember that day just as Ellie does. Uh, making fun of you for going so crazy preparing for our housewarming party. And I thought you were going too crazy and making fun of you. But little did I know you were finally preparing for the perfect proposal. I'm still very grateful for everything you've done that day. I love you so much and you should believe this because of how much I have done for you over the years. <laughs> like agreeing to keep the thermostat, not a degree over 64, even in the dead of winter, or um, having to learn how to take care of our house, our pool, and our dogs. Well, actually, it was only one dog at the time. For a few months last year, while you decided to go off on a summer vacation to see her, <laughs> I was left home alone. <laughs> it was a vacation. In all seriousness, you are everything I could possibly want in a husband. You are so honest, so funny, so loving. And by now you're probably thinking, why haven't I said so handsome, right? So we'll go with that one too. <laughs> you're the best dog dad, the best friend, and the best roommate a girl could ask for. I look up to you daily and appreciate everything that you do for me, especially redoing my kitchen. I promise to support you in everything you do, even if it's buying another motorcycle or another gun, even though you don't shoot the ones you have. <laughs> I promise to battle you in every booty shaking competition that we uh, encounter on our vacations. I promise to never stop eating ice cream sundaes with you. And I promise, and most importantly, I promise to love you endlessly and encourage you to best, be the best person you can be. Now that, that was sweet. So the pressure's on, Daniel. Good luck. Now it's your turn. If I may. Destiny. <laughs> I sometimes do humorously say that my love for you is like a thousand stars. But the truth is, I can't actually express into words how much you mean to me. You are my best friend and my better half. Over nine years ago, when we were simply friends with benefits, <laughs> I would have never imagined standing up here today making these vows to you. But the truth of the matter is, your ability to tolerate my unnecessary purchasing, <laughs> ridiculous sense of humor, and complete inability to be a normal person is reason enough to make you my wife. Over the past several years, I have fallen in love with your brutal honesty, your work ethic, and your 100% dedication with everything that you put your heart into. You are the most loving and supportive person that I know. And there was no one else that I would want to spend the rest of my life with. But before I make my vows to you, I feel that it's equally important 
to highlight some of the things that I will not vow to you. <laughs> I cannot promise to put my clothes in the hamper every time I get undressed. I will not vow to always putting the toilet seat down after I pay. I cannot promise to rinse my dishes off after every single meal. I cannot promise you that I won't come home with another gun, motorcycle, or a fishing rod. I do vow to love you unconditionally every single day. I will honor you, support you, respect you, and cherish you. In sickness and health, through sorrows and success for all the days of my life. I vow to always place your takeout orders because you're too afraid to do that yourself. I vow to fold your laundry and I vow to cook your dinner. I vow to make you happy, to make you laugh, to protect you, and always be there for you. Destiny, I'm forever yours. I wish I could sound that beautiful. It was, that was love. Tom? May you present the rings? I forgot them. <laughs> Thank you, Thomas. Destiny and Daniel will now exchange rings to symbolize their commitment. Rings are derived from humble beginnings of imperfect metal to create something striking. It is customar customarily worn on the ring finger as, is, as it is the only finger with a vein running directly to the heart. The wearing of the rings is a visible outward sign that they have committed themselves to one another. Daniel, please take Destiny's hand and repeat after me. I give you this ring as a symbol of our love. I give you this ring as a symbol of our love for today and tomorrow and for all days to come. For today and tomorrow and all days to come. Wear it as a sign of what we have promised on this day. Wear it as a sign of what we promised on this day. And know that my love is present even when I am not. And know that my love is present even when I'm That's <laughs> 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 the moment of truth. Please take Daniel's hand and repeat after me. Share this moment. I give you this ring as a symbol of our love. I give you this ring as a symbol of our love. For today and tomorrow and for all days to come today and tomorrow and for all days to come. Wear it as a sign of what we have promised on this day. Wear it as a sign, as a symbol. As a sign of what we have promised. <laughs> 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 Wear it as a sign of what Wear we have promised. Wear it as a sign of what we have promised on this day. <laughs> and know that my love is present even when I am not. And know that this love is present even when I am not. Your love. <laughs> Your love. <laughs> <laughs> love. Someone loves somebody. Get married, someone loves somebody. <laughs> That one doesn't fit. Anybody got butter in the crowd? Margarine? We're gonna have to grease up his fingers. I'm surprised it wasn't greasy from the beef jerky we were eating earlier. <laughs> Destiny and Daniel, you have professed your love by exchanging your vows, and you have symbolized your commitment by exchanging rings. With all of this, I have just one more question I need each of you to answer, and then we're off to celebrate and drink a U-Haul full of booze. <laughs> Literally, I helped them load it. It's a U-Haul full of booze. Destiny, do you take Daniel to be your husband? Do you promise to love him, comfort him, honor, and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others? Be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? I do. Daniel. Do you take destiny to be your wife? Do you promise to love her, comfort her, honor her, and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? I do! <laughs> by the power vested in me, and by the Universal Life Church in the state of Pennsylvania, <laughs> I now pronounce you husband and wife. Daniel, you may kiss your bride. It is my great honor and privilege to be the first to present to you 
Mr. and Mrs. Daniel James McElroy.